Oh, shit. So recently we didn't we uploaded a video of the most controversial UK or British advertisements. It was controversial to us. Uh no, it was actually it was very tame. I didn't think I didn't think the majority of them were that bad. So Yeah, that yeah. I, I use the word controversial because a lot of times we do reactions and they say they're controversial. And then they're not. And nah, they are. <laughs> oh, 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 well, okay. And yeah, then, and wait, 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 these guys, they're not afraid to say anything. Yeah. And so y'all were telling us to do uh, the most effective advertisements. Okay. And so that's what we're gonna be checking out today. So guys, leave your <laughs> com <laughs> leave your comments down below in the comment section as well as your thoughts. Um, and then of course, if you have any suggestions for more uh, videos, let us know as well. Yeah. Some of the ads featured in this countdown are extremely graphic and contain adult themes which some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. That's Yikes. gonna be me. Not for the faint of hearted. <laughs> uh, you have you, been warned. You've been warned? Damn. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh the my the goodness. music, I the know. ominous music. Right. I'm scared. <laughs> Shout out to Hello, I'm a Pizza. <laughs> mm, we had pizza yesterday. Mm. It was so good. When your child's life fire, fire kills. Last year in England, 15 children died in house fires. Children like yours. So parents, I'd like you to make a promise. Repeat after me. I swear on my child's life to test my smoke alarm on clock change day. Give my family the best chance of surviving a house fire. You did promise, didn't you? Because you can't turn back time. Oh my God, look at his face. Oh. He's a ghost. Oh wow. <sighs> Wow. That now that was wild. That was very effective because Ugh. it it makes me want to go check our fire alarm and I can't remember the last time we changed the battery or the last time we checked to see if it was on or worked. Yeah, CO2 detector, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, very effective. All right. But then to swear your child's life. That part was I was like, "Oh my god." And you think about it, you know, when you don't change your batteries or, or you check to make sure they're it working, works. you kind of are putting your children as well as yourself at risk. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so. All right, let's keep going. Tree, St. John Ambulance. Welcome to the bridge. Um, can you Oh, yeah. You know those ones where... Oh, hold on. Glad to get this, buddy. Hello, Martin. Wasn't expecting to hear from you today. Well, wasn't Steve supposed to be sorting that oh out? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't think I want to watch it. Oh, oh! Fuck! Oh! Alice is one of thousands of St. John Ambulance volunteers. She's fully trained in first aid and knows what to do in any situation. Say something, buddy. She can be the difference between life and death. But what she can't do is be there every time. Briefly. Help! 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 Oh, 
Oh my goodness. They showed the kid dropping to the ground. They actually showed it. They you showed, turned away. You I, turned away. Yeah, I, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't. It Usually was just one of those. Usually they don't show something right. like that, but you turned away. Like you, like, like you knew something. No! I. I because, I, like, in our commercials or movies and stuff like that, they don't show anything like that. They show the kid hitting the ground, like, plump. They show the, the blood clump coming out of his nose. Yeah. He was gone. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's no, not I'm not. Funny. I mean, no, it's not funny, but it's very effective. Yeah. I. I but I, see, I don't even know what the I don't even know what this commercial was about. Was it about getting your children, first aid watch, training or watching your ch- child? So it's about um, that the ambulance or the first aid people can't be there every single time. So watch your kids. Watch your kids, and babe, every time we go somewhere, there's people not watch. Sorry, there are people not watching their kids. Yeah, like we it, that happened the last time we were at the lake. And we were sitting down enjoying and like, ourselves. The kid is and gonna we fall were, in the water. And I we said were, the kid is gonna fall in right. the water. And the parents just were not paying attention. And as soon as the little girl started walking off the dock, she was so close right. to the water. She it, fell and then we jumped up. Like and then the but parents turned around. Because we were watching because we the were, whole yeah, time. Right. Oh, and man. then the thing is, like, you can't say anything because I remember I was in Target and this lady, her kids were all over the place, and one was, like, jungle gymming on the buggy, and the kid was about to fall off and hit his head. And I was like, oh, my God, your child. And she she snapped at me. Yeah, yeah, she got upset. And I was like, I I didn't know what to say, but it's kind of, it's like, do you not say anything? You know what I mean? Or even when we went I to think, the Oyster Fest. I and think the you kids should always say something. Running yeah. all over the place. And right, because kids don't know. I know, but their parents should. Yeah, you should always say something. You always, I think it's always better to just to be the bigger person, just to speak out and even say something. Even if they snap at you. Yeah, exactly. Even if they snap at you, because it's, you know, the kid, the kid would be grateful for it. All right, we're going to uh, continue, y'all. Well, we're only two in. Dang. Dead man talking. Transport for London. I could be at home now. Watching telly with the kids. Oh my God. Or I was thinking about going for a pint. Instead, I punched my lung. And it's slowly filling up with blood. Mm-hmm. I'm going into cardiac arrest now. Oh. Silly place to overtake, really. Still, you live and learn, don't you? Oh, did he have a helmet on? Don't ride too fast. Uh, I won't be riding at all. Okay, I know that's right. And people will just, um, I said Sarah's story. But people here in Atlanta, we'll pause it so I don't talk over it. People here in Atlanta, because we have, like, a lot of car clubs and bike clubs and stuff like that, they just weave through traffic. And it is so scary sometimes because sometimes you don't even see them coming. And it's like you're putting not only your life in danger, but other people's They need to see these kind of advertisements. Yeah, definitely. I guarantee if they seen this stuff, they they wouldn't be doing that. But Americans are having fit. Right. Uh, 
Ugh. This is like when you have like <sighs> spasms and stuff. You can't and control this. your. Oh God. Well. Now you know how it feels to get motor neurone disease. Oh. Help us fight back. Uh, I, Bringing awareness. I mean, I get it, but. Uh, um, I'm I'm speechless. I I don't know if is there a right way to to do it. I because maybe you kind of gloss over things, especially if it doesn't happen to you or there's no one in your family that deals with things right. um, similar to that. So I guess it could be very effective and bring awareness um, to yeah, the disease. I think so because you, it's something that people don't think about. Yeah. You don't think about it until you or somebody right. you love goes through it. So, okay. This is life story. Bernardo's. Do you want to just um, come through, take a seat? Uh, do you want tea or coffee or anything? I'm all right for the time being, thank you. Okay. You look really well. Yeah. What have you been up to? Lots of rock climbing. Lots. <laughs> that sounds good. So, how's life these days? Yeah, things are good. Got a job, got a girlfriend, got a little boy. I never let him go for what I went through. Still having a nightmare today. But my anger's under control. I trust people more. I'm getting a bit better now. You know, it's like I could see a way out. That one from Bernardo's is alright. We talk a lot. And I trust her. Everyone else could just do one. Women from Bernardo's doesn't give up. Keeps asking why I nick stuff. Do drugs. Hit people. I told her where to go. Told my foster parents where to go. Just like the last ones. Don't trust no one. I ain't changing. <laughs> Oh, he's getting you. They loved me oh. at the bus stop. She said I was thick. Can't say that again. Mmm. Mummy's boyfriend hates me. I tried mm. hard, but he always finds me. I'm scared. Wow. They did a good job on now that. Now that was good. Yeah. That was so creative. Yeah. Starting from like the end of him healing and being better mm -hmm. and then showing his journey. Oh. But also not passing the hurt along to his son. Mm. But like when he first got younger, I was like, wait, he looked different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think. Really good. I like was, this. Huh? It was, it's like a movie. They put a lot of effort <laughs> yeah, into it. I know. One. Yeah, very yeah. creative with these advertisements. I am a crisis. British Red Cross. I am the fire that leaves you homeless. A harsh tack in aisle six. The prescription you cannot collect. I am the boiled sweet stuck in your child's throat. The motorway pileup that leaves you traumatized. The food shopping you cannot do. The reason you need a wheelchair. The flood that leaves you stranded. The empty house when you return from the hospital. I am a crisis. And I don't care who you are. So what do you think? Um, it's it's showing how people are just one crisis away from homelessness or losing everything. Losing everything. Yeah. If you, you know? think about it, they're here. We have the um, was it the Allstate commercials or that guy who walks around mm -hmm. and he he's like I'm mayhem. Yeah. But they do it in like a, a comical a funny way. Yeah, they do it in a funny and a comical way when it's really not funny or comical. Well, Americans, we need a a little more lightheartedness to digest it, I guess. Um, but stuff like this, it wakes you up. 
Exactly. And, and I think... And you see me just rebuke it. Right. Like, we're, Lord, we're doing I, the most effective commercials, and these are effective. Yeah. Right. Will it be effective for Americans, you think? Yes. Because I think a lot of Americans will complain about they these would com- They would complain about how serious they are, which is sad, because a, a lot of us need wake-up calls on stuff. This is Helpless, St. John Ambulance. I'm going to have to watch something happy after this. I know. <laughs> oh, the audio is Oh, removed. the audio is taken out. Okay. Can't watch that one. All right. Well. Torture by any other name. Helen Bamber Association. Elena didn't think anyone would hurt her. Mm. Oh, wow. wow. All right. So, guys, we just watched the... Um, I, I forget what this one's called, but I know it's too graphic to put on YouTube. But it's on YouTube. No, I'm saying it's too graphic for us. Because I know if we put this video, if we, because I'm going to edit this out. I know that if we have this on there, our video is definitely going to get flagged. And then our channel demonetized. Right. But we can definitely give our thoughts about what we thought about this commercial. Yeah. Or advertisements. Um. I think this is very graphic, but we stay in Atlanta, yes. which is a hub for, for trafficking. Yes. And this will be very effective because Atlanta Hartsville Airport is like a hub for that. Um, you hear stories about girls getting taken like in the stores right. and hotel rooms right. everywhere. So uh, very graphic, very disturbing. And I think if they played something like this in America, it'd be highly effective. Anyway, we're gonna continue on. Ooh, can I continue? I don't know. I know, I right? Yeah. I need a break. If London were Syria, save the children. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Granny. <laughs> Hello. Have you done your homework? Adam. For a general strike. Ready or not. Here he comes. On and clashes with Brit. Hey. Five ammunition against. You deserve to get shot. Have a nice day, Sam. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Hey. 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 Oh, Air strikes on rebel position. We are going to stay. Tapping. Go. <laughs> Very effective. Yeah. Wow. And I think a lot of times when we see situations on the news with dealing with war. We're desensitized we're, to Not it. only are we desensitized to it, but we're also dissociated with it because we feel like it's not happening in, it's not happening in your country. You, you, you don't see it. And maybe you flip the channel and it goes to I something mean, you else. you see it, but you don't see, really. You see it, but you don't see it. And Especially what's happening in uh, Ukraine and Gaza. We're in a day and age with social media of where we actually can see what's happening. There's people there with cell phone footage showing you the conflict of them running with their families and stuff versus before how it would just show the like CNN or the news would just show us certain aspects of it. Yeah. And so since it doesn't reflect you or affect you then right. it's kind of like on with my day on what yeah exactly exactly and so showing this kind of it, it puts you, a lot of things in perspective yeah, and it puts you in their shoes right you know like what if that was your child going through it you know what right what is this you your what if this was your family yeah you know right yeah Oof, wow all right let's keep going y'all mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, there, psh, there you go. Shoot, save all the children. Right. Because it's everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, this was rough. Yeah. This was very rough. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like something funny. Right. This oh. just brought my whole mood down. I know. <laughs> so I will say. I guess that's what y'all was trying to do. <laughs> right, exactly. And I will say that these advertisements were very effective. Yeah. Very effective, bringing awareness, really making you think about some of the stuff that uh, we do in our, our normal daily lives and the things that we don't think about as we just going about our lives. Yeah, we take a lot of things for granted. Absolutely, right. Yeah. So uh, so you guys were right. Uh, let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section, especially if you were watching all of these with us. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for, I don't know. I'm not doing this again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to be doing some give comedy, y'all. Yeah, give us, give us some. It's a comedy yeah, channel. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Give us some comedy. We'll, we'll watch some comedy after this, because I, I need a good laugh. Anyway, see you guys later.